He is the divine potter. He made you. He molded you. Just as he wanted Just you to be. Just as I am without one plea. A loving, a kind, and gracious, and faithful Father. 
So we give you the glory during this call to prayer. And as numbers as those who have become victims to the coronavirus keep going up. And as it appears that there's no end in sight, we can only be grateful. We ask God that we will be responsible and that we will do what is needed to do for not only our safety, but the safety of our fellow man. God, God, we thank, thank you. Give insight, give vision, and direction to those who sit in the seats of government so that they will govern correctly, that they will not be selfish, but they will understand and know that we are our brother's keepers. God, we thank you now as we move into this Wonderful Advent season and I'm moving to Thanksgiving, God. So many are yet unemployed. So many are yet homeless. So many are still hospitalized. And so we are praying for them. We give you glory and we give you praise. Yeah, I pray, Lord. But this church family, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Christ, our Lord, we praise and pray. And all God's peace. I am thy love unknown has broken every barrier down now to be thine yet I'm alone oh Lamb of God Come.